Picture this. It's 2030 in New York. You call a flying taxi on your phone. Your city is partly powered by small, clean nuclear reactors. And somewhere, a quantum computer is crunching calculations faster than you can blink. Sounds like a science fiction? Not at all. These technologies are already here, just not yet scaled. So, what if you could invest in five companies today that might be household names by end of this decade? That's what we will cover in this video. Five frontier tech stocks for the next five years. We will look at what they do, their latest financials, growth potential and risks. Hey friends, I am Palani, technologist turned investor and an early retiree. Someone who has been investing across US and India for 20 plus years. This video is for educational only, not a buy or sell recommendation. Please do your own research before investing. One more thing. Most of these companies are not profitable yet. The market prices them for the future potential, not today. That means high volatility, big swings and lot of patience. I hold some of these in small quantities with a five year time horizon. All right, let's dive in. Number five in our list is Joby Aviation. You ever dreamt of booking an Uber in the sky? That's exactly what Joby Aviation is building. They are making small, quiet electric aircraft EV tolls to fly people across busy cities like New York, Tokyo and London. 2025 has been a big year for Joby. One, they made significant progress on FAA certification, the golden ticket for commercial flights. The White House launched a program to speed up VTOL approvals. Third, a Saudi investment group signed a $1 billion deal for 200 aircrafts and uh, another 100 from Japan. Dubai granted Joby exclusive rights to operate air taxis for six years. They even bought, meaning Joby even bought Blade's air mobility business, gaining terminals in New York and Europe with plans to integrate this service into Uber by 2026. Coming to financials, Joby holds nearly $1 billion in cash. Of course, they are burning $500 million a year. EPS remains negative as of now. And the certification and infrastructure spent are happening currently. Potential-wise, if they succeed, Joby could be pioneer in new transportation network. Toyota just boosted its investment by another 500 million. Strong backing. What are some risks? Regulatory delays, heavy cash burn, execution hurdles, and competition from other uh, you know companies like Archer, Lilium, and others. So, what are takeaways? Joby is bold. Upside is massive. They pull it off, but it is a small allocation, high risk bet in my book. Number four in our list is MP Materials. If Joby is futuristic, MP Materials is about something more basic, rare earths. They own mine in California and are expanding into magnet production, which is critical for EVs, wind turbines, smartphones and even missiles. Recent big moves. One, the US Department of Defense took 15% stake calling MP Vital to national security. Stock jumped around 50% on that news. Apple recently announced a 500 million partnership with the MP to produce recycled rare earth magnets in US. Looking into financials, margins have been pressured by high refining costs, but analysts expect strong growth around 33% revenue CAGR and 55% earnings growth in the coming years. What is the potential? Demand for magnets is exploding from EVs to defense tech. By 2028, MP aims to produce 10,000 
tons annually nearly all of us demand if their mine to magnet model works they will capture more value and reduce us dependence on china so what are some risks commodity freight sorry commodity price swings heavy capex and margin pressures take away mp feels like the anchor stock in the frontier basket less speculative than rockets or quantum with real demand behind it number 3 in our list is oklo the world needs more power for data centers ai electrification and not just any power but clean and reliable that's where oklo, oklo comes in sorry oklo comes in they are developing small modular nuclear reactors and micro reactors to provide scalable carbon free energy stock is up 1470% yes 1470% in the last 12 months incredible momentum they broke ground on aurora inl pilot plant with the doe support third advanced fuel recycling facility in tennessee part of 1.6 billion advanced fuel center for coming to business model build own and operate reactors supplying power directly to customers looking into financials this company is in pre revenue losses of 28 million recent quarters but with 226 million in cash analysts don't expect any meaningful revenue until 2027 potential if they deliver oklo could become go to clean energy provider for ai and data centers two of the fastest growing power users unless like wedbush have set ambitious price targets for oklo risks regulatory approvals construction delays nuclear safety hurdles and the risk of overvaluation after huge stock gains in the last one year takeaways oklo is speculative but transformative a working micro reactor could change the energy game but execution is everything number 2 in our list is rocket lab if spacex dominates headlines rocket lab is quietly building the number 2 position in commercial space launches their electron rocket is second most frequently launched commercial rocket after falcon 9 but rocket lab is more than launches they are expanding into satellite manufacturing offering both rockets and spacecraft second growing backlog of launches and contracts including defense work third developing reusable rockets and future in orbit services now coming to financials they are not profitable yet revenue is growing but cost and r&d remain high what is the potential the small satellite market for communications and earth observations iot is booming rocket labs vertical integration launch plus satellite captures more value than pure launch companies what are risks strong competition from spacex blue origin and relativity launch failures and high capital needs so takeaways rocket lab is a mid-tier frontier bet less speculative than oklo but still risky it gives you exposure to space economy without going all in coming to number one in our list ion q now let's talk about the holy grail of computing quantum ion q is the leading commercial quantum company their current systems ion q forte ion q forte enterprise are helping partners like amazon astrazeneca and nvidia recent moves they have announced the largest us quantum contract ever for 54.5 million with air force research lab to partnering with the cloud giants to monetize hybrid computing before full quantum advantage arrives 
financials revenues doubling year over year since ipo but they are still unprofitable with heavy r&d costs what is the potential if quantum scales ion q could be a leader in one of the most important technologies of the century their visibility as a pure play public company gives them an edge risks quantum scaling is brutally hard error correction noise correction coherence competition is fierce from google ibm and amazon and revenue may take years to materialize take away iamq is a speculative moonshot if you believe quantum will break through in the next decade it deserves a small satellite allocation in your portfolio if you found this breakdown helpful hit that like button subscribe for more investing insights thanks for watching and as always invest safe and stay curious